Well, welcome everybody. I'm so excited to have Laura with us from England. It's uh, nine in the morning here on the west coast and of of North America, and Laura is in England. Laura, we oh there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Laura <laughs> is in England. Uh, it's five p.m. over there, and thanks to technology, we can bring you her amazing training on social media. Laura is uh, the youngest person to become National Marketing Director with our company, with the Juice Plus company, um, at the age of 19. And now she's 20, and she's almost a 39 club member. Um, that's awesome. Could imagine being 20 years old and a 39 club member. That's really, really <laughs> exciting. We're very excited for your progress in this business, Laura. And thank you. You shared uh, this training with us um, at our team meeting Thursday morning in Phoenix and back by popular demand with some updates. We bring you Laura Pilkington. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to run through how I used um, social media to develop my business. Um, I was quite a shy person when I started to start this business, so Facebook was a brilliant tool for me as I felt like I could kind of communicate with people without going too much out of my comfort zone. So I'm um, currently 20 years old. I started the Complete Shakes on the 17th of January 2013. I've lost £36 within the eight weeks and my upline Katie Ravy asked me to join the business after I was helping people in the support groups, recommending friends and family onto the product and just all around really enjoying it. Um, so I started my franchise on the 29th of January and became NMD in the October. We had um, a conference in the south of France and five minutes beforehand my uh, partner Lewis proposed to me and then Sam and Bowler, the head of the UK, promoted me to NMD so that was a really good night for me. Um, I'm currently IMD which you guys don't have in the, the uh, US and I'm a 24 club member. Uh, so social media is easy once you know what to do. Um, we basically just share our story. Sorry, I've just got a lot of notes here at the side of my pop them in front of me. Um, we just share our story, uh, how it's affected us, how it's helped us. Um, the more stories you share on Facebook, the more people you're going to attract because everybody has a different story. Um, so the, the range of stories definitely helps. Uh, sharing your lifestyle with others. Um, so I share my lifestyle with people my age. So I share things like the parties we have. The, uh, the holidays, um, the new cars, the new handbags, things that attract people my age. Um, so make it fun as well. There's a lot of people on Facebook that tend to, it, it's hard to get your emotion and your passion across online, um, but making it fun and just being who you are. Um, like, so for example, I see statuses on Facebook that say, having a shake for breakfast, um, 90 days till summer. Now, what I do, I flip it on its head, so I put yummy uh, summer frozen berry shake for breakfast. What a great way to start my day. Can't wait to try them bikinis on in summer. There's two ways to word stuff. You can word stuff simply, or you can go into detail and describe what flavor shake you're having and uh, describe the fact that you're going to be able to get into a bikini. A lot more people will think about the status you've just wrote if you're describing uh, more of it. Um, it's more fun and appetizing to them. Uh, make it interesting, so like I just said then, uh, keep it positive and keep it clean, so be an example for the company and be an example for your business. There's a lot of people on my Facebook when I first started in this business and they were so negative and they wouldn't work and they would refuse to work, they were always ill, uh, there was nasty language all over Facebook. Now to me, that's not welcoming and inviting, um, so just keeping it clean and keeping it positive, it's a lot more easier for people to relate to you. Uh, Facebook's my favourite tool, uh, just because you can do so much on it, so add people in the business um, for inspiration, ideas, um, they might post pictures about events that you could attend, uh, and just the general friendship that we all have. Um, if you're having a bad day and somebody puts a good status on, or you put a status on, they'll comment on it and it'll just make your day a lot better. Um, you can write on walls, so congratulate your team and congratulate your clients on the weight loss or their promotion. Uh, create a page. So you can, on my um, Facebook, I've created a page called Slim Thinking. Now this page, I use it as um, a diary. So I post fitness um, and workout ideas, meal ideas, um, inspiring and motivational posts, um, all kinds of stuff on there, just to help show others how my healthy lifestyle is run. 
Um, there's the share button on Facebook, so if you like something that somebody posts, click share and write a little comment about it. If you like it, share it, don't copy and paste it, be, you, be yourself, but show others the kind of things you like as well. Um, you can also group message, which is a really good one for your team and uh, your clients when you're just starting off. So if you have a small team and you're not ready to create your own private group, send them a, a group message, add them all in there, create a bit of a buzz and a bit of atmosphere, set some targets so who can get uh, five painful customers, um, whoever does gets this little reward. It could be a bottle of wine um, to lunch out at their favourite restaurant. Make it all fun and just make them feel as one big team because that's what we are. Um, so it's just my tips to Facebook. The more colour, the better. Um, things in black and white are a bit bland. They don't tend to catch the eye as much. The more colour you've got there, the better. Um, create a page where others want to look and aspire to be. So people my age, they want to be on holiday all the time. They want to be living the dream. They want to be going to parties. And they want to be meeting up in coffee shops and not working. Um, so just think about your audience. If your audience is slightly older and maybe they don't like the partying lifestyle, don't share that. Share something that relates to you and your age group. Make it eye-catching so when people are scrolling through their news feed and they see your status or your profile, they're like, wow, what's this? Let me have a quick look. Post inspiring things on there um, to keep people checking daily to see what you're up to. Um, and the more colour and attractive your pictures are, the more it sparks questions off because pictures leave people wanting to know more. You're not writing about what you're doing. You, you're putting a picture out there so they're thinking, well, actually, what, what is she doing? She's not actually said, let me ask her. And you don't want to go out there and spam people, so let them ask you. Um, the thing I love about our business is the exciting events. Now, I don't know any other business that has events like ours. Most businesses, you sat around a table, there's probably 12 of you. There's some guy at some whiteboard screen, and he's going through um, targets, numbers, uh, what target you haven't hit, what you have to hit next month. It's really boring. And I think it's a bit demoralizing. It's not very uplifting. You're not working as a team. Somebody's telling you exactly what to do, whereas our events, you walk in, there's music playing, there's a really good atmosphere, everybody's chatting, um, there's a couple of drinks because there's a bar open. People enjoy them a lot more. Make them what they are. Post on Facebook how fun they are. We had um, a business meeting around the pool in Parma. Now, to me, if I was an outsider, that doesn't look like a business meeting. It looks fun and inspiring and they'll be like, well, what is this business? What are they doing? That's not a normal business. Um, show them that it can be done anywhere around the world. And then it does fit in around a busy lifestyle because it's literally just an hour out of their day. If you're posting about an event, describe it in a way that would make you want to attend. Um, so this is one of the other main reasons that I'm in this business and my partner is the friendship. Before we started Juice Plus, we didn't have a a lot of friends, um, we hung around with the wrong kind of people, so when we came into this we were just like, wow, who are these crazy people? They're so positive, they're so uplifting. Um, so to me this was a big thing, so show that off. If it's a big thing to you, show it off. Just all the love and the support everybody um, has for each other, they, they've helped us through a lot. Um, I've never known support like it. There is no support like this in another job. They don't support you for promotions, they don't support you when you're feeling down. If anything, they kick you when you're feeling down. Just show everybody how good we are together. Um, inspire people um, and with, with, with your positivity as well. You, you never know who you might cheer up. You put that one positive status on first thing in the morning when people are reading um, the Facebook. They might see that and think, God, I've had a really bad morning this morning. Everything's gone wrong. They might look at that status and think, oh, God, that's really cheered me up. I needed that. Inspire people to take hold of their life. So go out there and show that you've made your dreams come true and that they can make their dreams come true. It's not just you. Allow others to follow you on your journey um, and make a profile where others want to look and see what you're up to. If something inspires you, post it. You never know who else you might inspire. It's all about building up um, a profile that's interesting, full of positivity, somewhere where somebody wants to look, somebody, somewhere where somebody will go to have a look if they're feeling down. Um, personality is a big thing over social media. You can't express your passion um, and you can't really see you. You're hiding behind a screen. Now, Victoria's really good at showing her personality just with that status. Um, just the little quote marks and just be yourself. Put your, yourself out there. Show who you really are. We're not robots. Our statuses aren't given to us by the company. Put your own touch on them. Um, I've had a client actually message me before 
I put a status on and somebody copied and pasted it and she said, Laura, I've just seen this person copy and paste your status. Does the company tell you what to post? And I just thought that was a really bad thing for her to see. We are real people. Go out there and share your story, show who you are. And you never know, showing your fun side might think, oh God, she, she's actually a real person. She looks like she's having a really good time. I'm going to go and message her. And by showing your personality, you're showing how welcoming you are, so people are more likely to message you. Um, checking and showing your lifestyle, so allow others um, an insight to your life. Show what NSA and Juice Plus can offer you. So it's offered me and my partner to get a house, um, to get a new car for all this friendship, uh, to get myself a handbag, uh, to travel and go to the places I've always wanted to be. Show it off, be proud of what you've achieved and allow others to, show, to know what you've achieved and make them think that they can do it as well because they can. Um, inspire others to make a change and never take this opportunity away from somebody it could change their life. Even the difference between them earning a hundred pounds or earning nothing because you haven't offered it, that a hundred pounds could pay their mortgage that month and save their house. You never know how you're going to affect somebody, so just show your lifestyle off. You never know who you're going to attract. Um, so I post my goals out on Facebook. I think I post them out there because I think to myself, well, people are more likely to know that they can achieve their goals and I'm more likely to achieve them because I've made them public. I think, right, well, I have to do it now. I've told everybody I'm doing it or I look like a liar if I don't. Um, so I posted uh, the, the picture in the middle. It was my vision board about a year ago. So it says, one year ago today I posted this vision board thinking I may be able to achieve one or two of these and I did them all. So it's the Louis Vuitton handbag that I'd always dreamed of since I was a little girl. Um, a Samsung tablet uh, to become NMD within Juice Plus, which I thought was impossible. Turns out it's not. Anybody can do it. Um, pass my driving test, upgrade the hotel we stayed in in Mexico, and £4,000 in one month, um, Victoria's Secret bikini and um, fitness and running. And I thought to myself, well, I'll, I'll pu publish it out there, and I did. And then I looked back a year later, and I'd achieved it. And I'd inspired, by posting that, I inspired other people to go and achieve their dreams, which is a really big thing. If you can inspire one person every day, then your job is done. Um, show the fun side of achieving goals, too. So people think, oh, goals are boring. I hate it and hitting targets. It's just like working in sales. It's really stressful. Show the fun side of it. So set yourself a target of a weight loss and say that you've achieved it. Post your before and after picture out there. Um, make it all exciting. And you're also walking the walk. Excitement. Um, now, we've, I touched on this earlier. Excitement is a massive thing in this business. If your normal jobs are boring, not many of us get up and are excited to go to work because it's just a standard nine to five office work or whatever else it is. They're not fun. Our business can be as fun as you make it. If you want to go out there and sit in a coffee shop all day and meet person after person, or if you want to go out on a night out and network with other people and give your business card out when you've had a couple of drinks, you can make this business what it is. When you're on holiday, sit in the middle seat. You've got two people either side of you to pester. Just make it all exciting. People will follow excitement more than they'll follow something that's a little bit boring and they'll think, oh, they'll just scroll past it on Facebook. They're just not interested in anything boring. Whereas if you put it out there, Sure, try and show as much as you can um, and leave others wanting to know more. So a good way to think of this is don't sleep with them on the first night. Don't give it all away. Keep them guessing. Keep them wanting to know more. Keep them asking questions. Um, and another big one is share, not sell. There are that many stories in this business to share with other people that we don't need to say, oh, buy Juice Plus from me. It's the best product you ever take. Inbox me for more information. Inbox me at the end of the status, unfortunately, ruins it. Nobody likes to be sold anything at all. Stories spread a lot quicker, um, and you're backing up how good the product is. It's more believable if you post a picture to back up that quote you've just put. Um, and you're giving people an option. You're not being hard on them. You, you're helping them make a decision. You, you're inspiring them every day with your post. You, they are making the decision. You are not having to sell anything to them. Our products are that good. They sell themselves. We just have to share the lovely benefits that we achieve from them. Um, congratulate and reward your team. Now, Katie did this with me when I first started, and I absolutely loved it. She used to tag me in all sorts of statuses about my weight loss and how well I was doing in the business, and I felt like like a princess. I felt on top of the world. Um, 
so tag your team in it when they've been promoted uh, and show others and outsiders that you do care for your team and they are achieving what you say they're achieving. Tag your clients in a status as well about how well they're losing weight and their friends are then going to see that status that you've tagged them in so you're opening it up to more potential clients too. Um, just show others how rewarding this business is and how you get rewarded for getting a promotion. You don't feel like you've stepped on somebody's toes because you've nicked that promotion in another business. This one is completely different. Just congratulate everybody. Even buy your team little presents or go out for a cheeky drink and pop it on Facebook. Anything you can just to congratulate and reward them and make them feel special because they're going to go out and do it for their team as well. Uh, walk the walk. Now this is a big one for me. I don't understand people who don't practice what they preach. So show that you're a walking, talking example of this product. Now when me and Lewis arrived back from America, we arrived back to all these complete and capsules. Now that to me is a picture of health. So I thought, no, I'm going to post that out there. People need to know that I'm taking this product. Uh, the, I'm more likely to tell other people about this product with a passion if I'm taking it and got a, a feel for it and a story for it. Um, everybody has a story, so encourage I encourage you to share it with people. Um, if you're having a cheat meal or you, you, you're going out for a drink, don't try and plaster it all over Facebook. Keep it quiet. Nobody needs to know. We're, we're all human. We all have um, a cheat meal every now and again. But I think of it this way. So would you buy the products from A, somebody who goes out every weekend, who's always got a hangover, who always stays in bed, who always misses the bus to work because they had a lie-in, uh, they're always tired, they're always going on about how much junk food they've eaten, or would you buy somebody from the product the product from who's happy, they've got so much energy, they've got good hair, they've got skin, they're always at the gym, they've just generally got a good lifestyle. I know which one I'd buy it from, so make sure your Facebook reflects that as well. Who would you buy the product from? Become that person. Um, post meal ideas and workout ideas and inspire your clients to do the same. If you're posting a meal idea, a potential might think, God, that looks really tasty, actually. I didn't think he eating healthy could be that good. I'm going to message you and see what this is about. So you're also attracting potentials from posting meal ideas and workout ideas. It shows how helpful you are to others. So just a couple of key points. Um, make everything fun and colourful. Nobody wants to be a some part of something boring because it becomes a job. Uh, always stay positive and think about what you're going to put online because thousands of people will see it. Um, so Mark Colburn, a Paralympic, a Paralympic athlete in the UK, once said to me, are you a drain or are you a radiator? Now a drain is somebody that sucks the life out of you. Every time you see them, they're negative. They've never got anything nice to say. They're just generally not a nice person to be around. Or are you the radiator that makes people smile, that gives off warmth, that helps somebody achieve their dreams, that tells you you can do anything you need? Be that radiator. So if you've got something on your negative, on your mind, write it on a piece of paper or type it up on the notes section of, on your phone and then think of something positive. And once you've thought of that positive thing and it's stuck in your head and you're feeling better, tear up that piece of paper or delete that note from your phone. There's no need to put it out on Facebook if you're having a bad day because thousands of people see it. We all have them. Speak to your upline. Never go downline either. Um, so inspire and motivate people online and offline. Don't be two different people. So online, don't be health freak and then when they see you out in the town, you, you're drunk, you're stumbling, you're eating junk food. Be the person that you're putting out there. And make people follow you. Um, check in places and allow others into your life so they have an idea of how much fun we have and how much of a family we are. Um, I think that's the, one of the biggest things as well, checking in. So you might check in at a restaurant that one person on your Facebook might have wanted to go to for years but has never been able to afford it and they might think, God, how she afforded to go to that restaurant? I'd love to go there. Or when we all went to America, people were like, what, you're going to America on business? And they didn't understand that it was actually business that helped us get there. Um, promote events is fun and learning. Share yours and other stories but prepare to talk about them offline. Don't hide behind a computer. Um, so yeah, put your story out there. But tell people in real life, get to know people, ask questions, don't just build your business on social media because that's as far as it will go. Get out there and speak to people as well. Don't be pushy or too forward or a salesperson, nobody likes to be sold or told what to do. Um, we're just caring people who want to educate and just make the world a healthier place. Help them make a healthier decision. Uh, another important one on Facebook is timing your posts. So if you're posting something about 10 o'clock, 
not a lot of people are going to see it because they're either in work or they've been working a night shift so they're in bed. So think of how many people you want to attract that status to. So if you're trying to find somebody to join your team, post it at night time when people have just had a tea, they sat down watching um, TV, whatever's on. And they'll be scrolling through the Facebook, guaranteed, without a doubt, and they'll see it and they'll think, well, why is she having so much fun at this time of night and I'm just sat here watching TV? Um, uh, my age group check their Facebook like it's the morning newspaper, so posting an inspiring thing first thing in the morning or posting a picture of your shake and saying how yummy it is will inspire people to do the same. Uh, so Twitter, I'm not that too clued up on Twitter, I'm, I'm getting there with it slowly, but here's just a, a couple of my tips that I use. Now Twitter, you, you can do all sorts on it, it's a lot um, simpler than Facebook because you're restricted to 140 characters, so there's just a, a couple of things you can do on it. Some other tips, so build up um, an interesting profile and a conversation. Um, so here I put jetting off to the south of France for a business trip with uh, red carpet parties and Jane Bond's themed dinner, all the joys, hashtag work, hashtag fun, hashtag JP. And uh, a friend of mine put, I'm definitely in the wrong job. Now because I put it was a business trip, people are like, well what do you do for business? So you're automatically interacting with people and building up a conversation. Um, Include others in your tweets as well. So if you've got friends that are in the business, tag them in it. Um, show others that it's not just you doing this. There is a lot more people out there. Um, mention your followers and hashtag on your uh, conversations. Uh, give positive feedback as well to others on their achievements or give positive feedback to a business, uh, like a local business you've just, just been to visit. They will probably repay the favour. So if it's a little boutique you've been to to buy a dress for the weekend, um, tweet them on Twitter and just basically say, oh, absolutely stunning dress bought for this weekend, thank you so much to dot 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 dot, whoever it is. They might then return the favour one day, which is good for your business because it helps build up um, a bigger profile. Um, colourful and personal, so the more colour you have on Twitter, the better because you only allowed so many uh, characters, so the more pictures you put out there, the more people are going to think, oh wow, what is that picture, I want to know more, and they'll ask you for more information. Um, Twitter's a bit different to Facebook because on Twitter you can tweet as many times as you like during that day, uh, 10, 20 times, whatever you want, It's Twitter is more viral, it's constantly like, um, it's constantly going, whereas Facebook, people get bored if they see that you're posting 10 status a day, it just doesn't become interesting. Um, Facebook is all about people liking your status because there's only one or two of them, whereas Twitter, you're constantly on the go with it, so you can post more on Twitter than you can on Facebook. Um, so you can build up more uh, of an audience as well by posting more. Retweet is basically like the share button on um, Facebook, so retweet pictures that you like, help other people build their profile, so by me retweeting this picture of Katie's, people are going to look on Katie's profile and think, well, what's she doing? What's this picture all about? And it helps build up her profile. So people, if you retweet some of theirs, they might retweet some of yours. Um, it's a good way to share things. And it creates a variety of posts on your profile. Um, and it shows what you're, you're interested in. And it shows that you interact with other people. You're not just this person that spams all this health all over everybody. Um, retweet things that are going to attract the same kind of followers. So this retweet here from Katie is going to attract healthy people and people looking for Juice Plus. And then if moving on, uh, show off the lifestyle fun th uh, through pictures. As you, uh, as I said, you can only have 140 characters per tweet, which is good because it's short, simple and to the point, but adding a picture in there just explains that tweet a little bit more. Um, and it's easier to show off the lifestyle and you're walking the walk as well by posting your pictures. Uh, next slide. Hashtag. Now this one's a really good tool. Um, Facebook have just introduced this in the last couple of months. Now a hashtag is basically um, you put the hashtag and then you write a word and it opens it up to the world. So I could search on Twitter, Juice Plus, and it would load all the tweets from Juice Plus like it has done there. Um, so if you hashtag and a potential customer is looking for Juice Plus, they, will, they might see your tweet and think, oh, well, I'll message this person about it then. So it uh, builds up more viewers, so you've got more potentials. Um, and by hashtagging, it also helps people find your tweet easier. Um, so you get a lot more retweets and more favourites. 
and use a range of hashtags. So use Juice Plus, Health, um, Bikini Body, Weight Loss. The, the more you use, the better, because the more people might search. They might be searching for something for weight loss, but they might think, well, what can I use? And Juice Plus might pop up next to that. Um, follow your inspiration. Now, this is a really good one. On um, Twitter, there's loads of pages for um, positive, um, positive quotes, um, workout ideas, meal ideas, all kinds of stuff. So that daily motivation just picks you up on a bad day. So if you're having a bad day, look at your Twitter. And if it's full of positivity, you have nothing to be negative about. Um, their images that they retweet, use them to share with your clients or retweet their Im image, uh, images so it pops up on your um, Twitter. Uh, you can retweet more relevant content because the more positive um, stuff that you're interested in that pops up, you can then carry on retweeting it. And if you follow your inspiration, the more you follow, the more will follow you back, so you're building up a bigger profile yet again. So our key points, short, simple and to the point and fun. It's easier to engage in conversations. Um, so make your tweets interesting and thought provoking. So comical tweets will get a lot more retweets and favourites than something that's pretty boring. Um, engage in others' activities, not uninvited though. Don't go out spamming people because nobody likes to be spammed. They, they just don't um, interact with it at all. So if you're engaging with somebody, make it positive and something fun that relates to them. So if they put something like, uh, great session at the gym today, I know I'll be aching tomorrow. Ask them what they did at the gym, um, ask them what gym they go to, engage in something that relates to them. Um, tweet pictures of your lifestyle, so the more fun you make it, the more people will want to know about it. Uh, hashtag fitness juice plus exercise weight loss gym, it opens it up to people around the world so you can literally build a business around the world using social media. Um, follow your inspirational pages and people so it gives you motivation and ideas to share with others. Follow as many as your friends as possible. The more you follow, the more that will follow you back. Uh, so there's an option on there to add all your contacts from Facebook and all sorts. So just go out and follow people from the business and they might tweet something that you might really like uh, and it might just change your whole outlook on things. Uh, use the search section to find out possible links for yourself so people wanted to know more about the product or the business. So if you search Juice Plus, somebody might be saying, does anybody know uh, a distributor for Juice Plus? And you could jump in there. Obviously, it's not uninvited because I've asked for it and just engage in conversation with them. Um, retweet and favourite other people's tweets to gain interest and build up an interesting profile that others will then follow. And most of all, just have fun with it. Um, Twitter's really fun because it's just short and simple. Have fun with it, explore it, get to know it, and follow your inspiration and friends. So Instagram. Instagram is one of my favourites. It's very like um, Twitter because you follow people and they follow you back. It's different though because it's with pictures, uh, so it's a lot more fun. You can't really explain uh, a lot, so you have to explain it in a picture, which I find easier. I'm more of a visual person, so pictures really attract me. Uh, so there's just some things you can do on Instagram. So make it welcoming. So the pictures you put up, that make them fun and happy and people are more likely to follow you because your Facebook, your Instagram is out there. Uh, make it interesting, so put a range of different pictures on there. By a range, I mean, um, so what you want your Instagram to be. So I want mine to be full of health, uh, fitness ideas, meal ideas, workout ideas, inspiring pictures. So I build it around that, whereas somebody might want their Instagram to be around fashion, so they might post pictures of um, outfits, designer uh, goods, makeup, shoes, all that kind of stuff. So tweet the pictures that you want to attract. So if I want to attract clients and distributors, I'm going to reflect that in my um, Instagram. So the more colourful, the better. It's more eye-catching as people are scrolling through because everybody's posting pictures. The more colour you've got on there and the different um, pictures, so I put like a group picture together. If they're like that, they're more likely to look at it and see what it's about. Um, hashtag again, so you can open it up to the world. Um, put, again, put colour out there. If it's black and white, people are like, oh, God, what's that? It's, it's, it's not eye-catching. The more colour you've got on there, the better. And I find pictures of half-naked girls um, attract more people, believe it or not. They're very inspiring to look at, and they kind of motivate my generation a lot. Um, interesting pictures also open it up to more questions, so people might think, 
well, what's this slim, slim thinking fat loss plan? Then berries look really good, or that dessert looks really good. What is it? Um, so people will just ask. Uh, and again, it opens it up to uh, more people, so you've got more people to um, potentially throw the product at. Uh, before and after pictures are a really good one to share on Instagram again because it's pictures. Um, the really eye-catching, a before and after picture was what attracted me to the product. Casey was posting oh, three or four a day maybe, and I just kept saying to my partner, look at this picture, look how well she's done. I wish I could do that well. Um, they're really inspiring to look at. They let you think that you can do it. There might be um, a before and after picture of a girl who's got your body type. And you might think, God, I can do that if she can do that. Um, so they're inspiring and motivating. So hashtag on them, put weight, hashtag weight loss, fat loss, before and after, bikini body. People might search for a weight loss thing, and your picture might show up when they've searched for it. And if your picture's colourful and eye-catching, they're going to think, well, she's done well, what, what's she done? And once they've searched for a weight loss solution, you might pop up with that picture. Um, and it also backs the story if it's more believable. Anybody can lie online. And that's why a lot of people are really skeptical. So by putting pictures on there that prove what you're saying, you're, you're a lot more um, trusted by your audience. Again, um, loads of colour, all your different interests. So there's a bit about fashion on there. There's um, holidays on there. Um, I used to do a, a lot of beauty work. So there's pictures of nails on there, all sorts of stuff. The more you've got out there, the more people you're going to attract as a following. Um, so if you've got a couple of different interests, put them out there. You're going to gain a lot more people. Somebody might follow you for fashion, and they might just see this weight loss picture and think, wow, I wanted to lose a couple of pounds for um, my holiday. What is she doing? And they might just ask. Um, pictures show more fun and more of the lifestyle. Uh, it shows your achievements. So you're going to more likely attract a distributor from Instagram. Um, and again, just hashtag it, open it up. Um, Instagram's a really good one. If I'm having a, an awful day, I'll look at Instagram and Twitter. So with Instagram, I follow as many inspirational people as I can, business pages, um, empowering women pages, uh, before and after pages, where they post loads of before and after pictures, clean eating recipes, anything that's going to pick me up on a bad day, I'll look at it. Um, if you're following those as well, when they post something inspiring, like an inspiring quote, screenshot it, crop it, and post it in your client support group, or post it on your Facebook and try and inspire somebody else. If it's, if it's inspired you, go on and share it. Um, if you follow a, an inspiring page or a fitness page, they might follow you back by the look of your Instagram. And it, um, it gives you that positive boost. Now, that's the main thing I use these pages for, just that positive boost. If I get up in the morning, I'm feeling a bit like, don't really want to shake today. It's really cold, and I want something warm. I'll look on my Instagram and see what's going on, um, and then I'm going to go out there and think, no, I am going to have a shake, and then I'll post it on my Facebook, and it'll reflect, so on and so on. Um, so just my quick tips. More fun, colour, smiles, and the range of images, the better. Share them through Facebook. So once you've uploaded a picture to Instagram, there is an option to share it through Facebook and Twitter, so you're building up good, strong profiles throughout. Uh, take loads of pictures at events, pictures of your lifestyle, pictures at the gym, and just share them everywhere you can. Uh, you can post quite a lot of pictures down Instagram um, just to keep building up that profile. Hashtag again so it opens it up, and follow others that inspire you and give you ideas. Um, here's a social media checklist that I did show in America, and a lot of people wanted it, so feel free to screenshot that now. Um, it's good just to have a checklist, even if you don't follow this one. Make one yourself, um, so say to yourself, right, each week, I'm going to post three before and after pictures. I'm going to post a daily status. Um, and I'm going to like a lot of inspiring pages. Make one for each um, social media page you're on. And it will just help you stay on track, build up that profile, and just all around help your business. Um, so like the here, Facebook, like and comment and share posts four times a week. It's not hard to do. If you're not on Facebook that much, at least you're doing some activity on there. Uh, make weekly photo or video posts, uh, like five new pages that add to your business. So I follow um, Network Marketing Pro, um, I follow Jeffrey Bertie, things that help my business grow and that I can share with my team in our private groups. There's tips on Twitter, um, Pinterest, uh, WhatsApp's a good one, so start up a group chat, add all your distributors in there, um, ask questions, it's a really quick way to get an answer to a question if somebody can't get on Facebook. Um, 
post pictures in there, post things about events in there. It's a really quick way just to send information. So in the UK, we have a code of conduct um, around social media because the businesses grew so quickly, we had to try and control it so we didn't create a monster. So we have a code of conduct to keep the brand and product safe and clean, keep yourself protected, um, stay professional, stop future problems occurring, protect the future of the product and NSA. So just respect all these guidelines that your upline may have set and that the company has set. So these are just a few of them. Um, be yourself, show your personality, we're all different for a reason, don't copy and paste something, go out there and be yourself and just post whatever you need to post. Um, never claim that a certain amount of money can be made, so don't say to somebody they can earn $4,000 in the first month because it's not going to happen, it's not realistic and you're making a false claim to them. Um, and to be honest, we don't really need to talk about money. If we show our lifestyle off and show that we can take business trips and that we're going to events and we've got all these friends, we don't need to show off the money. People will guess as to how much you make, which is probably better than going out there and bragging. Um, follow rules, so social media set rules, so um, things that are abusive or in any kind of way, they, they all have rules, so make sure they're followed. Um, we go by no eBay, Gumtree, Amazon, and in the UK we have a lot of buy and sell sites that are local to areas, so it might be Manchester buy and sell, and people upload their product on there that they want to get rid of and somebody will come and collect it. We don't agree with that at all, it's not personal, you're not building up a relationship with your customer and everybody knows relationships are the best thing to have with customers. Um, and it's a bit like spamming, it's more sales and you want to build it up in a good slow way, don't go out there and just try and get as many customers as you can because it won't work. Um, remain professional, remember it's your franchise. Um, avoid any arguments, so if somebody puts an argument out there and starts slating Juice Plus, don't even comment on it, it's really not worth it, don't put yourself in that hostile situation. Um, we all know how, how good our product is and how good our business is, um, so just don't engage yourself in that kind of uh, negativity, just follow people on Facebook that are in the business so they pick you up so you don't see as much of this negativity, and if they are being really rude to you or commenting on one of your status or posting on your wall, just remove them off Facebook, it's not like you're removing them from your life, it's only Facebook, just remove them and that way you don't have to see it and you don't have to get upset. Uh, reputation, so make sure all information is correct when speaking to others and you use external links to help you like YouTube videos, um, the clinical studies we have, and don't make any false medical claims like it's going to cure cancer or anything like that, don't hang yourself out to dry, we have the studies for a reason. So stay positive online. Um, what you post is seen by thousands of people, you want to be known as being happy, you want to be known as the one who's always posting something positive um, and not swearing and being really negative. Um, what would you think of your profile and your status and comments? So think like a potential client, what, what attracted you to the products, what attracted you to the business? Just keep doing that every single day. Um, less is more, so don't keep posting on social media, don't copy and paste the same status over and over and over and over again, it's too salesy, you want to keep it simple, you want to keep it different, you want to keep it fresh, so maybe three statuses a day is enough, um, the more you limit yourself the better because it leaves people guessing as to what your lifestyle is all about. Uh, so there's my details, um, feel free to have a look around, see what's on there, um, pinch any pictures, share status, whatever, feel free to inbox me, um, we're just going to do some question and answers now I think, um, hope it's helped, um, feel free to ask any questions and we'll try and get through them all now. Okay, thanks so much Laura, that's really awesome, um, I think you've done such a thorough job, I'm not sure, I'm not seeing any questions, um, maybe they're not coming through, let's see. Um, you can type your questions in, also, anybody have any questions out there? Okay, um, I think you've done a great job, I was really rather complete, I, and I feel like um, I got a lot more out of it listening to it a second time, so I appreciate oh. that. <laughs> So thank you so much for being with us um, and taking your valuable time to show us uh, what you've been able to do through social media and build your business. And it's very inspiring, uh, for, I'm sure, for people in your age group, but even for me to know that 
you know, people in your age group can do so well in our business and have good, clean fun out there with social media and make it work for them. So I just want to thank you again on behalf of everybody else for being here. Uh, I did record this, so hopefully it'll be available and I'll share it with everyone. And um, have a good evening. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thank you.